Hey everyone, it's Wingspan TT, and if you're watching, you know what time it is. It's time for some more Assassin's Creed Revelations. Now we're going into Assassinate mode, which is our returning mode from Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Um, it was popular in the Da Vinci Disappearance. It's a mode where you're not assigned targets, you pretty much just choose your own targets. You get to see where all the closest people are to you. And we're hitting up Assassinate on Mont Saint Michel again. Um, I know Mont Saint Michel is not everyone's favorite map. Um, someone asked me why don't I like Mont Saint Michel or why don't other people like it. I think the main reason is because there's a giant abbey in the middle of the map, so it's kind of like a big circle, and there's something that you can't move through in the middle. So if your target is on the other side of the map, you know, you could be walking clockwise to try to catch them. They could be walking clockwise trying to catch someone else. You could essentially have every single player walking clockwise around the map or counterclockwise and not able, let me just uh, put this in here, and not able to catch each other. Now, in Assassinate, it's a little different because you're not assigned a target. So you can, you know, if someone's far away, oh, oh, I'm sorry, we're not, we're not actually on Mont Saint-Michel for this one. Um, what is this, Rome? Okay, so the deal with Assassinate, the main difference is the radar is different. So you see at the bottom, um, um, the radar, okay, the radar doesn't show you where your target is until you've actually locked on someone. That's Evil Wilshire girl here that I'm playing against. She is quite amazing. I've played a couple matches. I've probably played like 10 or so matches against him or her. I don't know if it's a guy or a girl. It always plays as that gypsy girl. Uh, that doesn't prove anything. I'm playing as um, the thespian right now. But um, she's very good. She's always in either first place or second place. I've had a lot of close matches with her. I've had matches where she destroyed me with like double my score. So I expect this to be a very good match. I'm already in fourth, but again, I don't want to rush. The main thing with Assassin is this is a mode where if you make yourself conspicuous and you don't already have a plan for winning, you're already fucked. But this guy's fucked because he just swallowed a vial of poison. Yes go on stun me nope take a nap all right the other thing is in assassin you pretty much don't want to be right on top of someone unless you already have a plan for how you're going to kill them right you want to be polite you want to be efficient and you want to have a plan to take out this jester now i'm going to wait for him to try to come to me i'm just trying to lure him around the corner a little i'm going to use this i'm going to trigger chase drop the smoke bomb and stun so i get the end the chase get the stun and i'm going to get the kill on him um, right here for the revenge or whatever bonus you get. And I take the first place. Now the thing you have to watch out here. Oh shit. Yep. The thing you have to watch out for is as soon as you kill someone in this game, you've essentially made yourself a target because you're going around, no one knows what you look like until you make yourself obvious in some way. Yes, there's the radar, but if you're far away and they're not sure exactly which character you are, well guess what? You're the character that just pulled out a broadsword and put it through someone else's skull. Um, just getting up here on the roof, just trying to move over. Um, I just didn't want to stay on the ground for a second. Is there someone on the roof? I think, did I see someone on the roof or is that a chimney? No, it's a chimney. Okay, just coming over the ledge. Now there is no up or down indicator, so uh, it's, nope, that is definitely not my target because my target can't be me. There's my target, there she is. And I'm pretty sure that's Wilshire there. Now, she's not dumb enough to fall for me just like randomly falling on her here. I can hope that she comes to the roof edge, but she's probably waiting for me to jump down there so she can try to stun me. So I'm just gonna, now look, she did a, she did a taunt and she uh, she's in the middle of killing someone. So I'm just gonna come out here and take advantage of the fact that she can't do anything right now and go for the kill. Um, you can say I'm an opportunist. I think you need to play Assassin as a little bit of an opportunist. If you always try to go as the person starting the confrontations, all right, that's great, that can work. But the problem with that is, is that as soon as you kill someone, you're like, just what happened to her is that you're going to be uh, unavailable. You, you're not going to be able to do anything because you're in the middle of a kill animation. Whereas if you see on the radar, you see two orbs are moving towards each other. Those players, one of those players is about to kill the other player. So if you want to slowly make your way towards where the two other players are and just take out whoever loses, whoever wins essentially. Yep. Oh shit. Now that happens. Whoever locks on the other person first is the one who gets to kill the other person. So I'm just going to come. Can I get this done? Oh shit. Why didn't that work? Come on. Come on. I mean, I guess, to be fair, I do feel a smoke bomb, although it is largely the same as it was in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, aka the best skill in the game, it feels slightly toned down, like it feels the range is slightly reduced on it. Um, at least there's this kind of like bullshit range that used to exist in Brotherhood where, where the hell are they? Alright, there's one person over there, okay, there we go, it's, um, is that Wilshire? Or... I don't care who it is. It's someone I'm going to kill now. Aha! I don't know why she used a smoke bomb, but the joke's on you. Because I... What? What? No. Okay. Okay. Oh, I thought that the tripwire had me there. Oh, and there's another guy behind me. Yeah, I'll just take the double kill. No. No. Yes. Wow. Could this have worked out any better for me? Yeah, I'll blend in this group. Get a focus. 
Get the focus, blended, poison, kill. Uh, yes, yes, grab your neck, go on. Oh, oh, it hurts so much, not as much as that hurt. Yes, to my feet. Jen, you flat to show some respect, Dahlia Babwa. Um, all right, look at that greater variety bonus, streak bonus. I love it. Fourteen hundred points. Can you smell it? Can you smell it? I can smell it. it. Smells like victory. Now someone's coming up close here. The good thing about being in a blended group is that again, no one knows what you look like, and they get used to like what your avatar might be. Oh shit, she's around this column. Is that her? No. Yes. Yes. They get used to what your avatar might be, so she might be like, oh, well, I've seen thespians kill people so far in the game, but I haven't seen anyone else do it. Oh, shit, this is bad. This is bad. I'm just going to run over here and hope whoever's after me is dumb enough to come right over here. I got smoke bomb ready. I have no clue who they are in that group, though. So I'm just going to run away. Yeah, I'll just run. Whatever, just run over here. Get a little jog, get some cardiovascular uh, exercise in there, virtual cardiovascular exercise. They're right behind me. Oh, shit, I dropped, sm dropped smoke bomb way too soon. Um, that was a big mistake. The thing that you gotta keep in mind is that, oh, I hate, this is what I hate in Assassinate. You see this? Oh shit, there's a guy right next to me. Oh, oh god, okay, that's also what I hate in Assassinate. But what I was gonna say what I hate in Assassinate is you can have two players, okay, and they're standing looking at each other. They're like 20 feet away from each other, maybe they're on roofs, maybe they're on the ground, and guess what? No one is gonna move. There's no reason to move. If you're locked onto them and you try to kill them, they you're gonna be exposed, you're gonna start a chase, they're probably gonna win. If you jump over there, maybe they're gonna smoke bomb you. If you don't, then you don't get to do anything. So I feel like the problem with assassins is because anyone can be the killer, it it lends itself to these situations where people just where the best thing to do is to do nothing or to just sit there and wait for your skills to recharge and that's just not particularly exciting um <laughs> unlike i don't i don't know what that guy's name is well he's the lone wolf um i mean what the character what the persona's name is but i think he's pretty awesome i would play as him more if um he wasn't taken all the time, but I am playing as the thespian. She does, she seems to be a little unpopular, which is fine to me. That means I get to always have her. She doesn't have any hats, but unfortunately, a lot of these characters don't have hats, so you just have to live a hatless existence. Now, this is how you, you know you've picked the right person. If you click on someone and they expose you, all right, that p basically means that yes, you did pick them as a target. I'm just gonna hang from the ledge, get the hanging kill here. Yep, hello. To lock on and drop, drop. No, I'm just gonna wait for the focus. There we go. Did I get the focus? I did get acrobatic kill. But now, um, here I go. Get my neck snapped. Get some chiromancy in there. It's funny because when I say neck snap, I feel like I have to snap my neck in real life. Well, not like to a fatal extent, but just you know, you know what I mean. Just all right. Second place. Uh, Wilshire's definitely giving me a run for my money. And when you come up to the corners. Corners are the oh shit! It's definitely one. Oh shit! There she is. Shit! No. Yes. No. No. Yes. Yes. Wow! So late smoke bomb. Um, corners are the big deadly place. Um, oh shit! She wasn't in the group. Oh, run! 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 Um, corners are the deadliest place in Assassin's Creed. Uh, in in Assassinate because as soon as you turn the corner, the line of sight meter, the the you know the radar lights up. So. When you turn the corner, everyone who is waiting for you to turn the corner knows exactly who you are, unless you're in some gigantic group. Oh shit, he's coming out of the roof. I don't have anything. Oh my god, he's. Lo I'm just gonna go for the contested kill at least. Um, and that's what's great. You can still go for the contested kill, um, and or the honorable death or whatever it is. Um, I, I wish it was like an honorable death and then. A very honorable death, an extremely honorable death, like maybe extremely honorable death right before you die, you call your best friend, you're like, hey guys, I'm about to die, but it was really cool hanging out with you, I'm going to miss you a lot, I'm going to be in the afterlife or wherever I go after this, um, then maybe you like drop down, a, you write a check to the person who's going to kill you, you give them a nice tip for giving you an honorable death, and that's, you know, extremely honorable death, I think if Ubisoft could add that in Assassin's Creed 3 or Assassin's Creed Revelations X2 HD Remix, whatever they do next, See, and this is great because you come around the corner. This is what I mean as an opportunist. Like you come around the corner, and now you can like take advantage of the fact that um, this guy has basically killed all the competition for you. You don't need to worry about the fact that uh, oh, what happens if uh, if someone comes gets him, gets at me? No, he killed everyone who's gonna get you. Uh, speaking of getting people, it's time for me to get this guy. Oh shit! Oh fuck! You know, it just hurts. It just hurts me even more to know I lost to a GameStop jester. That's, you know, Nexus 2, Nexus 42, whatever your name is. Whatever, man. 
It's gonna come. What goes around comes around. We got a minute left on the clock. There's still plenty of time to turn things around. Although, you know, it's just I I don't want to force myself into a situation where I have no skills unlocked. Like I was just waiting a couple seconds here to have the smoke bomb so I could defend myself if necessary. Um, is this my target? I say yes. No. Oh God, that was bad. Luckily, I don't even have to pay for my mistake. Um. Wow, it's really close. 6,500 to 6,000. I don't know where my killer is. Oh, that's probably that's probably him right there. Yeah, exposed. Exposed. Don't expose yourself in public, bro. Oh, shit. Oh, he didn't fall for a smoke bomb. But I triggered the chase. I had the smoke bomb down to, like, the smoke bomb kind of made it so he can't follow me. So I'm just going to try to make the escape. Find the chase breakers. Look for chase breakers. Look for anything I can do to get away. Uh, come on. Nine seconds left on the clock. Shit. And yes. And escaped. Oh shit, five seconds. I don't think I can win. But can I kill him? Yes! Well guys, I'm Wingspan TT. Yes, I did not win. And people are like, oh, you didn't win? You didn't get in first place? Well, there's eight players in the game, alright? Give me a break. I think coming in, alright, I was 400 points under the win, 7,100, 6,600. That's a single kill, essentially. Um, if you place on the podium, as far as I'm concerned, you did a good job. Um, unless you played as the Jester from GameStop. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope uh, you stop at TopTierTactics.com and read the articles I'm writing. I will be doing some in-depth analysis of this game. And I feel like written works a little bit better. And guys, people are always asking me, Wingspan TT, I love your videos. How can I help you? How come you don't have more subscribers? Is there anything I could do? And yes, there is one thing you can do, guys. And that's tell your friends about these videos. If you like them, share them. Send them to other people who play these games. Send them to people who don't play these games. Um, spray paint the URL to the videos on like the walls of your neighbor's house. Whatever it takes to get people to view the videos, that's what would help me out most. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.